Hey everyone, this is Dhanur Ashray and you are on the Millennial Profit Show. Today with me I have my younger brother. Hello. <laughs> Glad to have you Ram. Everyone. So this is going to be a bilingual show, just to make it easy for all of us. Okay. Uh, I'll try sticking to English, but it's very difficult for me to. Right. So I'll move to Tamil. What? <laughs> or or okay. Malayalam. Right. Okay, I don't know those languages, so let me stick with English. So Abhinay, how does it feel being on the show? First episode, man. <laughs> First episode, you know, I made it on the first one, so I'm excited. A few interesting topics. We are all very excited to listen to many of the celebrities outside. Your perspective on what you think about the music of today. The music of today, it's it's such a bizarre world, you know. Like I never thought that when I started listening at the age of four or five, that we'd be here, where artists like you know Joji, where you know the likes of alex turner where the likes of arijit singh where the likes of you know senior musicians such as tm krishna all of all of these veterans of music will be doing such great work such exceptional work and it 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 it's, it's in the making yeah they worked so hard and the music of today it's it's and it's awesome top game awesome i i i i really like the fact that you've started uh, kind of talking about artists who've done great the art is because of the artist so do you truly believe that you know the artist is greater than the art or you know it's it's complementing uh, artists kind of being the representation of the art form and without them suddenly the art form loses its shine right. do you see that to be true or do you have a different perspective there let me tell you in all honesty the art is any day greater than the artist the art is the essence you know as much as i've listened to what you've said and maybe there is some truth to it but there there is a very interesting thing that uh, ar rahman mr ar rahman you know he he said this in on on a public channel on a public forum he believes in sufism a lot and the principles of it is you should always feel like whatever you have in your hand is empty and the more you feel it's empty the more art that keeps pouring into you and that's how he makes his songs and that's very how profound. that's how he draws his inspiration so very profound the essence of an artist and the only reason why an artist is out there is mm-hmm. because of the existence of the art maybe there is a sportsman out there so well in the sport the art takes precedence of over the artist of course of a lot of time in this whole hustle in this whole chaos they forget why they're even there yeah of course a lot of artists you know i think you raise a good point because artists have a tendency to kind of to their head and they're not letting uh, you know letting themselves really soak into the world of music and focusing on the art form it's not even blame artists for this you know this the way the world works recognition fame money speak success But apart from music uh, where has your mind been oh, sports has taken precedence so many times even my subjects there was a phase where I was really interested in physics as a subject economics being one pursuit now but there are different things which took precedence at different times cricket was an important factor at one point so just because you know you you can't just stick to one because i remember i used to play a lot of video games and i knew friends who pursued music and who also played a lot of cricket uh, back then we we kind of enjoyed playing outdoor games a lot more uh, a few of my friends football fanatics mm-hmm. uh, so just talking about sport that way has right. has sport ever been a part of your life oh, yeah. favorite sport Oh, big part, man. Sports played such an important part. You know, till date, you say you have friends of fanatics. I'm a fanatic of different sports. You know, I keep, I, I constantly keep in touch with, whether thanks to you, whether it's tennis or uh, other sports such as you know, I keep, I, I play basketball. Big fan. So I, I watch a lot of it. I support the Brooklyn Nets, and football. I support Liverpool in the Premier League, and the World Cups going on. What is that one sport that has been Not- with you since childhood? Something that you can say has been your constant. because for me it was cricket all the way uh, of course i played badminton and i really had a liking uh, to tennis i never played tennis that, that way i'd say basketball it's the one sport not from my childhood because you know i've moved places in between yeah, yeah. and there's there's been a change you know yeah. that there's been a change you know yeah. i used to play cricket when i was a child because of the place where i grew up and now when i came to the place that i'm in right now uh, football became a very important thing Yeah. and slowly we transition to basketball but the one thing that stuck with me over the past 4 5 years is basketball so so is there also another reason behind choosing basketball as a sport uh, and has uh, height ever been uh, the criteria for you that's not uh, the reason why i play that's not the reason why i play yeah now I, you can cover up that way but it's true okay right? <laughs> there's definitely there's definitely a side motive but 
it's just a side benefit it's not the reason why people go out there let's talk about the most happening thing that's going on right now mm-hmm. in the world of sport atp masters no i think that got over mm-hmm. finish okay it's fifa the world cup right right correct i knew you'd come to that and uh, i was very sad cuz uruguay lost yesterday they played uh, portugal. Uh, portugal and uruguay lost to portugal uh, so i think uh, all the ronaldo fans uh, should be very happy with this result but uruguay plays ghana next uruguay and uh, ghana. it's going to be a decider i'm, I'm you know there's so many groups there's so many teams it's good to see so many like young guys come out even ghana i never thought they'd do that well you know that the second right now yeah. and they beat south korea the other day or whether it's uh, saudi arabia wow they beat argentina in their first ever game that they played and yeah. to beat a team where the greatest footballer ever is yeah. part of messi and messi again ronaldo no i was thinking maradona but you know yeah <laughs> old times yeah okay then brazil has pele right so pele and yeah the way each team has its own start but messi and ronaldo well, being uruguay i'm towards uruguay so he sees on the south american side I hope he sticks with that even in his model United Nations the next time he goes. I hope he's lenient with those people out there. Press chair. Yeah. I don't chair the WEF. You know, if we have to leave this session with one word, mm. uh, would it be uh, um, expression? Great. That's what his name means. So, uh, Abhinay, expression. Uh, thanks for joining in. Thanks for having and, me. And uh, yeah, it was fun, man. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was good. See you guys, and I hope you enjoyed. today's uh, interaction with this uh, little baby brother of mine uh, meet you soon thanks for watching and stay tuned for more such content please don't forget to subscribe